Hey guys, here's part two to the partial denture series that I promised. Now, I'm gonna also say in part one where I did the split file design, we gave all the warnings with Nesbit partial dentures. So I'm not gonna go over that again, but go ahead and set up default client and put the patient's name. We're gonna set this up different for a monolithic. We're gonna go anatomic ponic, 3D print, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy mirror so that I'm prompted in the wizard to do the mirror workflow, and I'm gonna select virtual gingiva. I'm gonna click okay, it automatically puts the antagonist. I'm gonna hit save and design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and navigate towards the files and load the upper jaw first, and then the lower jaw second. Okay, so the files are gonna come in just like before, exactly how you scan them. And then once the files are in, the step number one is always going to be to rotate the models to a top-down path of insertion, just like that, and then hit next. And you want to just be looking straight down on the edentulous space. Step number two here, it's going to automatically prompt you to mirror. I'm going to switch to copy. So I switched from mirror to copy and I clicked on tooth number five and dragged it into the tooth number four space. And I could have mirror imaged the contralateral um, tooth number th uh, 13, but I just didn't like that tooth. And so then you can manipulate it, control or rotate, shift to grow it, control shift to stretch it and you could click it to move it. Next step is the freeforming step where really all we have to do is um, cut all intersections, which is going to go ahead and to adjust the proximal contact. It's gonna adjust the pontic tissue pressure and adjust the occlusion for us automatically. So we're gonna hit that cut all intersections and it's gonna take care of all these issues. All right, so that's pretty much it for the tooth. Now we're gonna be off to the tissue. So for the tissue, we're going to pick our path of insertion here by rotating the model to an ideal survey line. The survey line is that salmon colored line. You're going to hit set from view to change the survey line to whatever direction you were looking at. And that green arrow is going to be the path of insertion. And you want on your guide planes, no block out wax on the um, coronal portion of the guide plane. So you could have a seal there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. I hit apply so that it generates the virtual wax up bottom, which is that new baby blue model that you'll see pop up on the screen. Now, people don't realize that this blue model that pops up the virtual wax up bottom is really what determines the fit and retention of the partial denture. And so what I like to do is hit apply and then go to free form and it will default to the add remove tool, hold shift to remove. And I'm going to remove block out wax where I want to engage my glass tips. And this is where with a cast metal frame, we would engage an 01 undercut, depending on if it was a circumferential cast clasp or a wrought wire or an eye bar or whatever you were using. Um, however, for <clears throat> flex partial dentures, you can engage a, a deeper undercut. And so typically I will alleviate the wax all the way to the natural tooth surface and just the clasp tip location. So now I'm gonna draw my partial denture. And here what's really key is to understand where your block out waxes and for example when you're doing lingual plating which i highly recommend for 3d printed prosthetics not only for um, better retention and stability um, but also because i feel like it creates a stronger prosthesis you're going to want to be coronal to the block out wax so that you get a seal in those areas and in addition to that on your guide plane areas you want to be coronal to the block out wax which you could go to um up here to your object browser and hit the down arrow on your virtual wax up bottom and turn on your wax colors so that you could see where they are now here um where you drop down for your uh, super bulge clasp typically i'm right coronal to the um block out wax however in this instance i decided to drop down to the tissue right here and then come across with my clasp um, and the reason why i i wanted to do this in this particular instance here was to avoid a little bit of extra pressure on that premolar tooth there on the facial however normally i go just right above <clears throat> or coronal to the block out wax with my my clasp this patient does uh see that tooth when she smiles and so i wanted to hide my clasp just a little bit make it more towards the cej of the tooth instead of being halfway up on the tooth which would be visibly um, apparent when she smiled get back to that original dot and you're going to double click the slider here for material thickness needs to be 1.5 millimeters as you could see on the top or the bottom left um, that's where you determine your material thickness right there <clears throat> is this little slider once you have your tissue 
the way you want it. You could hit next. Optionally here, you could freeform your soft tissue. You could festoon. I just like to basically just go to my smooth tool and just really just smooth the clasp tip, smooth the border. Um, and I have keep bottom boundary fixed selected so that this way I'm not distorting my margin line. And that's about all there is to it for a monolithic partial denture. And then when you hit next, it's going to go ahead and actually combine all of those into one solid file, which is going to be called your merged part. I'm going to turn off my colors here so you can see it. And that is actually what you print. And the way that you print it is you're going to nest it uh, occlusal surface down and you're going to go to um, add remove individual supports and make sure that when you rotate and look under that you do have a support on the very tip of the clasp right there on each clasp. And if you do have that, that should be um, a well-fitting clasp. If you forget to put a support tip on the very tip of the clasp, it will be deformed and you might have inappropriate retention there, whether it's too light or too heavy. Anyway, I hope this helps. Monolithic partial dentures are um, very easy to do. It's about a five minute design. And as you could see, it is something that could be delegated and um, super fun to do for your patients.